My guest today is Ashley Hines. She's the executive director of the Benton Harbor Community Development Corporation. Uh, Ashley, I got to say, uh, you are a very, very busy person, uh, <laughs> but it's it's busy in a good way because you yeah. are always doing something. And even people that I talk to in the community, they're like, watch out for her because <laughs> she, she's going and she's not going to be stopped. And she's going to probably ask you to help with in certain ways. But yeah. for, for, for people that uh, may not know all the stuff that uh, that happens with this, the, uh, the Benton Harbor CDC, tell me a little bit of, uh, about what you guys do. Yeah, so um, the Benton Harbor Community Development Corporation is a nonprofit that I started in November 2020. Um, so we're um, just under three years old. Um, but it really grew as this labor of love, uh, of community and affinity to this community and uh, of residents coming together and being empowered and, and empowering our other community members to really create the community that we want to live in. And so we do a lot of different things um, because of that. Um, we just respond to the needs and wants and desires of the community. So some of the things that we currently do uh, we have home buying education and counseling service that we offer monthly home buying counseling to residents and meet with them one on one um, to help them develop a plan of action to achieve home ownership. We've since um, since launching that program, we're, we've now gotten into the housing rehab space. Um, we are also working um, to develop a coordinated housing strategy, housing development strategy for our community. Uh, so that we can be intentional about how we build the different types of housing needs that yeah. are uh, that are needed here. Uh, we have a mentoring program. We do a lot of social cohesion events. So just trying to uh, create space for community members to come together in a healthy and safe way. Uh, and then I think our, that our, 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 one of our biggest projects would be the Flourish Community Garden, which is a garden that started in the Empire Corridor last year. So we're now getting um, into our second season of that. Yeah, it's certainly uh, certainly grown over that short amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you talk about that and, and the community and the, the housing and that. And then the garden was one that I was like, wait, so you're so busy doing all this other stuff and doing these things. Why the garden? Yeah. So as an organization, we started the garden because we did an asset mapping project in that neighborhood mm -hmm. where we had residents come together and walk around to map the assets, whether they were people, land, building resources to see what, we, what was already in that community and how we leverage those things to yeah grow the community. And a lot of the residents that we interviewed talked about wanting this community garden and um, just being able to interact with their neighbors more. And so that's why we started it, started the the garden um, in response to that. And Ben Harbor being a food desert, we don't have an actual grocery store within the city limits. So it just seemed like a natural fit. And then long term, what we like to do is really use that to expand the local food system. So this summer, we've kind of added to that garden program where we're now helping residents start gardens at home. So that's been really fun to visit and do site visits with people and um, get them excited about growing food for their family. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it was one of those programs that even, you know, me being on the planning side, it was something that people said that they wanted. And then the fact that it grew so fast, not just the produce that we were growing, right. but the people's affinity to that, it was just really beautiful to see. Yeah. And were you a gardener? I mean, are you, are you really, do you have a green thumb? Are you good at that? You know, or? I have a light green thumb, right? Okay. Like I, I, you know, I can keep some stuff alive. I, um, I had house plants. My dad was really into gardening and house plants. And so we spent a lot of time, um, helping him in his yard growing up. He played a, a really huge role in helping us to get our garden started as well. And so, you know, I'm, I'm able to keep things alive and um, prior to starting the CDC, I sat on a board for an organization based out of Baltimore called the Black Church Food Security Network, where we work with Black churches to grow, um, to use their land to grow food for the community, and then also connecting Black farmers to other resources. And so I had a little bit of experience of that, but not necessarily hands-on growing. So it's been really it's been really fun and exciting to be able to be a good steward of our land, but also it's been a huge learning curve for me. 
Yeah, and for people that even are avid gardeners and have been for many years, they know that still every day is a learning uh, moment for them. Uh, you know, sometimes yeah. they, they put something in the ground and it doesn't grow, or sometimes yeah. it, it you know sometimes it grows by accident. Um, yeah, that is just cool to see that continue to grow and develop. And you know, mm-hmm. I know I love uh, getting into my garden and my home. Uh, and doing a lot of that stuff. And, and of course, also having a community garden, like you said, it, it brings the community together Mm -hmm. uh, and you work together to make uh, something really awesome happen. And that's continuing to grow. And I love the, the idea of even helping people in their homes and their home gardens Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, helping really develop that uh, and get that going, because that's just going to be a spark that will uh, continue to flourish. Yeah. uh, for, for many years to come in the community and a very, very important thing. And you, like you mentioned, nutrition as well is another big aspect of that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So we, um, we're going to be hosting classes, nutrition classes, um, partnering with the MSU extension office to facilitate some of those things. Also doing cooking demos to show people how to cook some of the things that we're growing that they may not necessarily be used to eating. Yeah. And so just being really creative in how we, introduce people to urban gardening gardening and trying new things so you're not afraid to try new foods if somebody put something in front of you and said hey let's let's Um, grab this and let's try it see i'm a foodie (laughs) by heart like i will try pretty much anything i love Mm -hmm. to cook i love to experiment with different things and so i definitely don't shy away from trying new things that's awesome and i hope other people in the community uh have that same sort of belief of that because i you find out new, new, wonderful things. You're like, Oh, I didn't know how to make that. Or I didn't mm-hmm. know. I didn't even try that, uh, grabbing that in the, uh, the store because I didn't know what to do with it. And to learn all that stuff is really amazing. Now, uh, what else are you busy with? Because those are just a few of the things, but I know, uh, it seems like you're always doing all kinds of things and, and talking about building more community aspect. Yeah. Uh, you've got your, uh, movie nights. You also have some uh, bike nights. uh, We have a lot of events happening. Uh, In relation to the garden, we purchased the home next to the garden, which we're now in the process of rehabbing. It was a previously fire damaged home that we um, got at the last tax auction. And we're rehabbing that to be a community resource house. And so that'll be a place for community members and organizations to gather, to meet with the local community. Um, We're going to be offering a tutoring service um, out of the house as well, business center, laundry access for people who may need it, showers, things like that. So oh. that has been, you know, definitely taking up a lot of my time, but it's really fun to be able to design and create that space. Uh, we also have a lot of events coming up as well. So this Thursday, um, the 22nd of June, we are launching our Real Community Outdoor Movie Nights that we do in partnership with an organization called Let Us Rest that's led by Miss Delia Chandler. And so we show movies bi-weekly in Union Park. And so they're going to kick off this week at 730. Um, we also have later this summer um, the BH Bazaar. And so our intent is to kind of scale this event a, a bit, uh, launching it this year. So where we're creating a weekly marketplace right in the inner city for people mm-hmm. to come and shop, um, artisans and creatives coming together um, to reach the local community and just network and coexist with one another. So I'm really excited about that. So we'll have one this year and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll be able to grow that to an, a weekly event next summer. Uh, we also have, I'm really excited about uh, a bike party coming okay. up on June, sorry, July 14th. Um, so we'll start downtown at Dwight P. Mitchell Park. And we're just asking everyone in the community, neighboring communities, come out and bring your bike in. Um, we just have a route where we're going to travel throughout the city um, and have fun with one another. And, and that's going to end at the livery um, that night. So really excited about that. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how you find the hours of the day, but you certainly find them and you <laughs> even look for, for more time to, to do other things. But it's uh every aspect of the stuff we've been talking about is, is community. And mm-hmm. it's about the developing the community more than just housing or this or that and all these other things, but you're doing, uh, you're trying to help with all that stuff. And you've got some other yeah. uh, great people that certainly help uh, with joining a hand uh, to not only help with the garden, but some of the other teachings and the other things, it's just really, really awesome. Now I know you were a track star when you were younger, uh, <laughs> even a track coach, 
but uh, how you're you're moving so fast. But how do we keep track of everything that you and uh, the Benton Harbor CDC is doing? Yes. Yeah, so you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Ben Harbor CDC or Ben Harbor Community Development Corporation. We're also in the process of revamping our website. So that'll be launching in the couple in, in the coming weeks as well. Um, BensonHarborCDC.org. And so, yeah, you'll be able to um, track our events there, sign up to be a volunteer, things of that nature. And so we're really excited about getting that back online. Yeah, and definitely uh, keep track of all that stuff because I know when I uh, follow you guys on on Facebook, I'm like, ooh, that's awesome. Ooh, I want to be a part of that. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. And so. there are just a lot of great things. We talk about this all the time, not just with our organization, but other organizations who we're connected with. We're really trying to build this ecosystem so that w- one organization does not have to meet every need. Sure. And so a lot of times we see people working in silos. And so we understand that our work may not be may be in housing, but it's not just about housing. It's about creating space and creating healthy whole people to be in these homes, to be in these mm-hmm. communities. And so, yeah, just really having a hub where people can find out about a lot of this great information. Another resource that is, um, it's, it's new, but it's being re- re- utilized. It's bentonharborevents.com. And so you'll be able to find out not just about my events, but a lot of the other local events happening here as well. That is awesome. Some great things happening in the community. And uh, one of the great organizations uh, among many of them is the Benton Harbor Community Development Corporation. And Ashley, thank you so much for telling me about all the great stuff that you guys are up to. And uh, thank you for so much uh, for all your hard work uh, that you're doing along with everybody else. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate 